Welcome back, curl friends. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can recreate this faux bob on your lace front wig. So I'm starting off by putting on my wig. This is the The Wig Collection LH Afro Kinky Wig that I just reviewed for you guys just a few days ago. So I'll go ahead and link that on the upper right hand corner if you missed that video. So as you can see, it has a really, really leveled out blunt cut and I just want to create a faux bob. So I'm just going to figure out which side I want my bob to be longer on and I have chosen the right side mainly because the parting is really really curved and it just flows so much more better. So however you want it for your specific head and head shape you can adjust your wig accordingly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and secure my wig onto my head now that I've figured out my placement. I'm just going to use the combs as well as the back straps. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach everything and shift my hair into place. So because this is the lace front wig, I'm gonna go ahead and blend in your part. I'm just using a little bit of concealer and now I'm just gonna move into my quote unquote cut. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and split my hair straight down in the back separating the back half from the front half and I'm just going to go ahead and put that into a really really loose ponytail. I'm just going to wrap it around twice with a goodie elastic band. got your loose pony we can go ahead and create the base for this faux bob I'm just going to grab the ends of the ponytail and roll and tuck it under it's pretty much gonna be really really seamless I chose a black elastic band so that nothing is showing on top of the faux bob but this is going to be our base this is what all of the hair is going to fall on top of so you're just going to pin that into place and as you can see i pretty much tucked away most of the hair on the opposite sides in the back So now that we've got our base in place, we can go ahead and take down our hair. So like I told you guys, the front portion will be laying on top of this little bun that we pretty much secured into place. And now you're just going to take that hair and flap it over the bun and tuck it away using some bobby pins. Last but not least, I'm gonna use my laid edges edge control to go ahead and slick down my edges and you can use this time to refine your cut. So if you have any loose or straggly hairs that need to be tucked away, you can go ahead and tuck it underneath that base and there you have it. A nice faux bob, you didn't have to cut your own hair. I absolutely love playing in cuts, especially with curly hair because it's just super, super cute and it adds so much more personality to your curls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this faux bob. Be sure to check out my last video, which was the review on this hair as well as how to define curly hair. And subscribe to become a curl friend. Like this video to let me know that you guys are enjoying these tutorials. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Love you guys.